Wow. These caterpillars are looking great though. For those of you who are wondering how many caterpillars we have right now. For those of you who are wondering how many caterpillars we have right now. Yeah, we have an awful amount. This must be close to like 40 of them or something. The cool thing about this species, the, the awesome thing about Cricula silk moth is that um, these species tend to be semi-social or social. A lot of species become solitary in the final life stage and many of them are gregarious in the earlier life stages. But even the Cricula species that are solitary all their life, still most species tolerate being raised in high density. And certainly Cricola trifenestrata does. So, usually I would never have this many caterpillars in one enclosure, it's not beneficial. Overcrowding can make some species even sick. But, Cricola don't really care. This species is easy to farm in high numbers, in high density. They tolerate each other very well. And the caterpillars are stupidly pretty. Stupidly gorgeous if you ask me. It's just a golden color. But they have, it's like, it's like they're wearing a clown outfit. Do you see it? What I mean with clown outfit? Maybe it sounds stupid, but... They're absolutely beautiful. So these are not fully grown, um, but at the same time, guys, don't expect them to become very big. This is a very small species of silk moth. In fact, it's probably one of the smallest ones that you can find in the hobby. Together with stuff like Anisota, which are super small, and rosy maple moths, which are even smaller. But these ones are also up there. Now I'm just gonna be silly here and scoop the caterpillars up and like place them in here. This is gonna look real dumb. But they themselves are going to disperse eventually. So yeah, just taking clumps of larvae. Boom. They will find the oak leaf themselves. Do not worry. I'm just guiding them towards their new food. By the way, I wash my hands before I handle caterpillars. Don't touch them with your dirty hands. Well folks, when we say emperor moths, most people think about these uh, giant atlas moths, robin moths, stuff like that. But indeed some emperor moths can be very small. I don't think this species is that small, but it is small. We've raised smaller ones though, like the rosy maple moth. But yeah, here it is folks, Cricula trifenestrata, the first individual to come out. I think it's a gorgeous little critter. I'm not even sure right now if this is a male or a female. I actually suspect that this is a, a yes, this must be a female. So what's really cool about these is they... They pretty much look like a leaf, which in my opinion is very cute. A very cute little leaf camouflage going on here. It is one adorable species that I really recommend anyone to breed. They are, uh, in my opinion, quite easy to raise. And I'm really happy to have the first female. Wow, gorgeous guys. Moths make me so happy. I've said it before and I will keep saying it. Moths make me so happy, so happy, so happy. Look at that satisfying, cute little pattern. I, for one, am hoping that my viewers can appreciate this kind of stuff too. It's not every day that I can show a new species of uh, moon moth. We have to also take a look at some of the smaller, beautiful creatures on this earth. Such as this one, this... Uh, Cricula trifenestrata, and as you can see the scientific name trifenestrata, 
refers to the three transparent windows that this species tends to have on the forewing. There you go. Very cool little leaf insect.